Good evening, everyone, and welcome to our service of evening prayer for Saturday, the 3rd of October. We begin with our service of light, as always, so I will light our candle. Light and peace in Jesus Christ, our Lord. Thanks be to God. Jesus Christ is the light of the world, a light no darkness can extinguish. And let us sing together our hymn to this, to the light, O laughing light. O laughing light, O firstborn of creation, radiance of glory, light from light begotten, God self-revealing, holy, bright, and blessed, you shine upon us. Day's light is fragile, your light is eternal. We look to you, a light within the shadow. We sing to you, Creator Christ and Spirit, you shine before Light of the world, O oh, Jesus, you are worthy, giver of life, and child of God, we praise you, here as the universe proclaims your glory, you shine among us. And our psalm is a portion of Psalm 33, which we say together. Rejoice in the Lord, O you righteous. Praise befits the upright. Praise the Lord with a lyre. Make melody to him with a harp of ten strings. Sing to him a new song. Play skillfully on the strings with loud shouts. For the word of the Lord is upright, and all his work is done in faithfulness. He loves the righteousness and justice, the earth is full of the steadfast love of the Lord. By the word of the Lord, the heavens were made and all their host by the breath of his mouth. He gathered the waters of the sea as in a bottle. He put the deep in deeps in storehouses. Let all the earth fear the Lord. Let all the inhabitants of the world stand in awe of him. For he spoke and it came to be. He commanded and it stood firm. The Lord brings the counsel of the nations to nothing. He frustrates the plans of the peoples. The counsel of the Lord stands forever. The thoughts of his heart to all generations. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. And our hymn is number 487, Where Charity and Love Prevail. Where charity and love prevail, there God is ever found, brought here together by Christ's love, by love are we thus bound. With grateful joy and holy fear, God's charity we learn, let us with heart and mind and soul now love God in return. Let us recall that in our midst dwells God's begotten Son as members of his body joined. We are in Christ made one. No race or creed can love exclude. If on earth be God's name, our family embraces all, whose Father is the same. 
and our gospel is Luke 6, 27 to 38. The Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, according to St. Luke. Glory to you, Lord Jesus Christ. But I say to you that listen, love your enemies, do good to those who hate you, bless those who curse you, pray for those who abuse you. If anyone strikes you on the cheek, offer the other also. And from anyone who takes away your coat, do not withhold even your shirt. Give to everyone who begs from you. And if anyone takes away your goods, do not ask for them again. Do to others as you would have them do to you. If you love those who love you, what credit is that to you? For even sinners love those who love them. If you do good to those who do good to you, what credit is that to you? For even sinners do the same. If you lend to those from whom you hope to receive, what credit is that to you? Even sinners lend to sinners to receive as much again. But love your enemies. Do good and lend, expecting nothing in return. Your reward will be great, and you will be children of the Most High. For he is kind to the ungrateful and the wicked. Be merciful, just as your Father is merciful. Do not judge and you will not be judged. Do not condemn, and you will not be condemned. Forgive, and you will be forgiven. Give, and it will be given to you. A good measure, pressed down, shaken together, running over, will be put into your lap. For the measure you give will be the measure you get back. The Gospel of Christ. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. When I think about the, these words of Jesus, I think about how hard this can be at times. Love your enemies. If, if your enemy strikes you on the cheek, offer the other. Uh, it just seems very, very difficult. Uh, and yet, Jesus is showing how his way is very, very countercultural. It's, it's against the sense of justice that we seem to be born with. Um, because we, we tend to if someone hurts us, we want to hurt them back. But Jesus' way is what transforms injustice and violence and evil. If, if everyone just pays back evil for evil, it perpetuates the problem. Jesus' way transforms the situation and brings new relationship again, restores relationship again. So it's very, very difficult. But remember, Jesus is calling us to be children of God. He's saying, if you do this, you will be children of God, not just children of the world. Um, you will belong to the new kingdom in the here and now if you operate by these principles of the new kingdom. And the direction that it leads to is to justice, peace, love, and relationship. And all of these things are the most important to Jesus. Let us make them important to us. Let us be agents of transformation for God's kingdom in the here and now. Amen. And now we're going to sing the Magnificat and we'll do the version we first learned, the Song of Mary. Tell out my soul the greatness of the Lord. Unnumbered blessings give my spirit voice. Tender to me the promise of his word. To God my Saviour shall my heart rejoice. Tell out my soul the greatness of his name. Make known his might, the deeds his arm has done. His mercy sure from age to age the same. His holy name, the Lord, the Mighty One. Tell out my soul the greatness of his might. Powers and dominions lay their glory by. Proud hearts and stubborn wills are put to flight. The hungry fed, the humble lifted high. 
Tell out my soul the glories of his word. Firm is his promise and his mercy sure. Tell out my soul the greatness of the Lord. To children's children and forevermore. And let us say together the hero Israel. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. Love the Lord your God with all your heart, and with all your soul, with all your mind, and with all your strength. This is the first and the great commandment. The second is like it. Love your neighbor as yourself. There is no commandment greater than these. In our prayers today, when I say, Lord, in your mercy, please respond with, hear our prayer. Keep us, O Lord, as the apple of your eye, Hide us under the shadow of your wings. For the peace of the whole world, we pray to you, Lord. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For those who are weary, sleepless, and depressed, we pray to you, Lord. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For those who are hungry, sick, and frightened, we pray to you, Lord. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For rest and refreshment, we pray to you, Lord. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Amen. We pray today for the sick known to us, for those sick known to all who are praying today. In the parish today, we pray especially for Jane Ross, Paul Benson, Doug McDonald, June, Alex, Nick, Jane Gatke, Christopher, Jeff Smith, Hannah, Sue, Bernice Peterson, Wendy, Bev, Marilyn, Peter Robertson, Melanie and family, Monica, Cheryl Clark, Mary Sherwood, Ocean Tomlinson, Allie, Lynn Aitkins, Jane, Aline Spidel, Pat and Les Matthews, Dana Moran, Betty Goodchild, Jim Glass, Bill Crandall, and Ahmad Masse. We pray, O Lord, for all who are sick for any disease. We pray for those who are sick because of COVID. We pray, O Lord, that all the sick might know the healing touch of Jesus in their lives and have wholeness of being in body, mind, and spirit. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We continue to pray for those in the healthcare community, all who are working towards a way forward out of this pandemic. We pray for insight into research workers. And we pray, O oh Lord, for the patience of the population, that we might put the life of our fellow people first before our own convenience, and that we might support all who are trying to keep us all safe. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray today for those who have died for those known to us, for those we miss. And today we pray especially giving thanks for the life of Joan Pallet, whose ashes were scattered today. We pray for all who mourn, that they, even in the midst of their grief, might have a glimpse of their loved one's joy, which they know in your presence. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for 10 more households on our parish list. And today we pray for John, Christy, Emily, and Adele Obervac. We pray for Fred and Cotty Oposu. We pray for Don and Millie Olenek. For Sharon O'Neill. For Evelyn Orchison. For Brent, Lindsay, Declan, Rowan, and Asher Osborne. For Robert and Deborah Osborne, for Michael and Sarah, Wesley and Evelyn Otter, for Stephen, Jane and Hannah Ottman, and for John Pabke. We give you thanks uh, for, for them and we pray for their health and safety and happiness. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. In the Anglican cycle of prayer, today we pray for the Diocese of Peru in South America and the Right Reverend Jorge Luis Aguilar, their bishop, the Diocese of 
Chichester in England, the Right Reverend Martin Warner, their bishop, the Diocese of Peshawar in Pakistan, and the Most Reverend Humphrey Peters, also primate of that province. We pray for the Diocese of Chotanagpur in North India and the Right Reverend B.B. Baski, their bishop, and the Diocese of Koforidua in West Africa and the Right Reverend Felix Ode Anansi, their bishop. And we pray for all the clergy of all of those dioceses. Let us pray our prayer for night from New Zealand. Lord, it is night. The night is for stillness. Let us be still in the presence of God. It is night after a long day. What has been done has been done. What has not been done has not been done. Let it be. The night is dark. Let our fears of the darkness of the world and of our own lives rest in you. The night is quiet. Let the quietness of your peace enfold us, all dear to us, and all who have no peace. The night heralds the dawn. Let us look expectantly to a new day, new joys, new possibilities. In your name we pray. Amen. And the collect for this week. O oh God, you declare your almighty power chiefly in showing mercy and pity. Grant us the fullness of your grace, that we, running to obtain your promises, may become partakers of your heavenly treasure. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Gathering our prayers and praises into one, let us pray as our Savior taught us. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. And we will sing our evening hymn, closing hymn, Nunc Dimittis. Nunc Dimittis servum tuum, Domine, Domine, secundum servum tuum, in pace, Domine. Nunc Dimittis servum tuum, Domine, Domine, Secundum verbum tuum in pace domine. Nunc demitus servum tuum domine, domine. Secundum verbum tuum in pace domine. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and peace at the last. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen. Thank you for joining us this evening. Uh, tomorrow is Sunday, of course, and so we will have our uh, morning service, a spiritual communion at 9 a.m. Uh, we will also have our Zoom coffee hour at 11 a.m. and hope to see you there. Blessings to you.